Hey guys, Multiclass Gamer here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Barnyard. Today we are meeting Ben at Beatty Farm, right directly in front of the Beatty House, where the uh, where Mrs. Beatty can see us. You know, Ultimate Waifu of the Century can see us. Yeah, it's looking right into her window here. Okay, this episode started off creepy. Let's go talk to Ben. Hello, youngin. Hello, olden. Was that sass? It sure sounds like sass. Well, Junior, let's see what you've got. It's time for some sharp squirting at the beady farm. I'm not going to go easy on you this time. We gotta get you trained up. Trained up for what, Ben? Sure thing, as long as your son's not watching the bushes and the scrotum bushes over there. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, so it's nearly sundown, so let's get this party rolling. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's raining too. Nice. Okay, yep. Yeah. That. Okay. I do love the, uh, the nighttime setting, to actually. And once again, a time where I can actually complement the motion controls, because yes, this actually feels pretty nice to be. Yeah, you guys get it. I, I already talked about it. I already, already did my, you know, uh, gushing and fawning of this and on Ben Cell when we did Sharp Squirter, so there you go. But yeah, again, we're doing this at it's nighttime now. It's interesting. I always forget, like, how the, uh, even during minigames in this version, the, uh, the time still progresses. It's still, it's still really cool. It's a really cool aspect of the Wii version. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can get this. Oh, not quite. That was really bad. Okay. There we go. I do recall um, in the my original 2011 Let's Play, again, I hate constantly going back to the old Let's Play, but I figure it would be important to mention this because uh, this episode in the original Let's Play was the called the repetitive episode because every mission after this for the... You know, the entire next set of missions that come after this one are, mission, are games we've already played before. But, to be fair, the mini games we will be replaying in this, uh, um, in this episode, they are harder variations of said mini games. There's really only two of them. I mean, like, yeah, you could say this is kind of repetitive, because, I mean, like, the whole sharp squirter thing, but no, it's not, because it's a new location, so... It's a whole different experience, kind of, I, I guess. Um, but, yeah, really, it's only for like two or three mini games, basically. And then after that, we have a brand new mini game, so that's part of that next set. So, if you want to do the, the new mini game first, you can. So, you know, it's part of that set, so it's not going to stop you from doing them out of order or anything. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, come on. Just run around, get some more. Or just do that. That works too. Okay, and last can of the game. There we go. We did it. Yeah, kind of wipe the rain out of your hair, which doesn't matter because it's still going to get wet anyways. I should be soaking right now. Yay, star! All right. Beauty Farm Squirter, here we go. And we beat Otis again. Sweet. I'm still better squirter than Otis, and I always will be. Just saying. <laughs> well done. Uh, Ben, you were looking kind of lazy eyed there when you were giving me the thumbs up. Is that. Are you trying to tell me something? Were you looking. Like, were you trying to wink off at Otis in the background or something? You know, as he's watching me going around squirting? One fine cap. Shut up, Ben. Finest kind, Ben. Hmm, modest too, that's all for now. Go ahead and have fun. Well, at least he paid us to show off to his son, so there's that at least. Okay. Enough of this weird stuff, let's uh, see what we have to do next. Well, obviously with it being so late, we're not going to be able to... Wait, we can? We can still do this? Okay. Pick wants me to set the south path. So yeah, one of these is a night mission, but it's dark, so I don't see the arrows either. Are we really able to still meet them over there? 
I guess we'll find out. So let's head on down to the South Path. And now that we have the Izzy Springs Golf Course open, we can have a quicker way to get to the South Path. But it's gonna it's definitely gonna be nighttime by the time we get there. So yeah, there we go, finally. That should be the one that says that it's too late to do the Yep, gotta go. Let's hook up tomorrow if you're free. Uh, uh sure, Peck, sure. I've always wanted to try chicken. <laughs> Wait, I get that every day at KFC. What am I do what am I saying? Oh man. Well well to be fair, Peck is actually a rooster, but you know, those are kinda similar, so you know what I mean. Okay, well I haven't used uh this particular gold rush machine, so I guess we'll go ahead and use it since I did say we we're going to use every gold rush machine at some point during Let's Play. Um, this one will lead you basically through the south path and back to the barnyard, so that's kind of the path that you're going. But you're also going to be getting gopher bucks off of this jump here, so you got to be really careful with this one. But yeah, I got plenty of gopher bucks, so might as well just use them. Or gold rush tokens. Make sure you have your bike facing the jump, too. Are you ready to make this jump? Uh, that works, too. The thing is, like, you use the Wii remotes to, you know, to kind of level yourself out instead of the control stick on the GameCube version. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we got this. We got this in the bag. Alright, 75. Not bad. Okay. So, uh... Even though I normally do the missions like only in order, we're gonna go ahead and make an exception here. We're just gonna do the uh, the night mission in the barn now. First of all, let me save real quick. It's kind of weird for me to be saving in the middle of an episode, but you know what can you do? I just have a history of not trusting the night right farm, basically. All because of the GameCube version. The GameCube version gave me like some sort of like a. Oh wait, what? We do have a reward waiting for us. Okay, let's see it then. You're doing fantastic! I don't even recognize this old barn now. The barn is now 44% complete. The cows really like those flower vases you bought. Oh yeah, the vases! I forgot about those. Yeah, you get a reward for getting the vases on the on the tabletops. Mostly they just like to eat eat the flowers. Here, take this milkweed. Oh cool, so we can roll joint again. Nice. Alright. Well, we're going to, uh, instead, we're going to hang out with this joint right here. Well, at this joint Do with the Jersey Cows. Do what? Do what? Yeah, that's right. Wanna take the beanie car out for a spin? Oh, no, you wanna. Know it. Yeah. I'm about to take the farmer's pickup truck and race against us. Press 2 to accelerate and tilt the Wii Remote left and right to steer. This, my friends, was uh, pre Wii Wheel times. They were dark times, let me tell ya. And stay away from the cops. So is that too much excitement for you? Or are you ready to play with the big boys? If you're done talking, let's settle this on the road. Let's go! Whoa -ho. Yeah! Now, I thought... I felt in the GameCube version that the joyrides were still... They were already kind of weird as it is. Like with the, you know, with the controls. Because of like... I don't know, I just think that the farmer's pickup truck doesn't have really good steering. Now, combine that with, though, basically Wii Wheel controls. But, we'll give it a shot anyways. So you hold the Wii Remote like an, NC, like an NES controller. And, okay, it's nice to have that visual steering wheel on the screen, I guess, to kind of give you an idea on how, how well it's going. Wait. Oh, God. Yeah, you can run through some things, but if you run into, like, a tree or, like, a fence, then you're screwed, because, like, they're going to get gonna get quite a distance ahead of you but so far it's going all right this is as bad as I thought it would be then again this is actually the same as the uh, the driving controls in the creature from the crusty crab that's another Wii launch title and there is driving in that game so as you guys are aware so basically it's the same controls as that oh god oh wow we recovered a lot really fast from that actually this, this is actually not that bad. I thought it'd be a lot worse than than this, but no, it's actually it's better than the Genki version. Actually, not so much the controls, but just the fact that you actually recover a lot faster whenever you spin out or mess up or something. And I swear that course was shorter than the original, but whatever. That wasn't too bad. I wouldn't mind doing that again. 
I'm just ashamed that there's no multiplayer in this game because that was an opportunity right there, the joyrides. I just got lucky. Next time, not so lucky. Yeah, that was actually pretty fun. I don't mind doing that again. Well, guess what? I'm in luck because, uh, yeah, you actually do the joyride multiple times throughout the game. See, from here on out, the Jersey Cows are going to be alternating between challenging you to bike races, joy rides. Bike races, joy rides. Bike race, joy ride. Bike race, joy ride. It's pretty much how it's going to be from here on out with the Jersey Cows. Um, so you can imagine, there's probably going to be an upcoming bike race with them pretty soon. But in the meantime, let's go to sleep because we have other missions to attend to. Oh yeah, there's that one thing you guys want me to do at night time, but we'll do that some other time. Ah, bright, shiny, new day. Okay. Oh wait, actually, let's go talk to Pip real quick. Wait, we already did that, didn't we? Yeah, we already did, we already did for the standings and got the gold rush token. Did we? I don't know if we rewarded us last time. Okay, well anyways, like, yeah, we have to go meet a peck in the, on the south path. You probably guess what this is. I mean, actually, it should be pretty dang obvious. It's very rare for Peck to request a mission from you, so yeah, it's it's really obvious at this point. So, head on over, because it is time for Chicken Launch Normal Difficulty. Yep, it seems like it, we just played the beginning difficulty, but yeah. Here it is, Normal Difficulty now. Hello again. I want to set a new flight record. Do you think you could launch me again? Get ready for takeoff. As long as your buddy right there isn't interested in having chicken lunch. <laughs> okay, here we go again. Let's pull back. Okay, there we go. At least you don't have a timer like you did in the GameCube version, because that was kind of a kind of a hassle. So basically, as the difficulty increases on chicken launch, basically all it means is that the rings just become fewer and far between. That's all that happens, basically. Your path is still the same, your goals are still the same, so... Uh, oh yeah, shake the Wii Remote to, to boost, that's right. Yeah, this is another minigame where the motion controls are actually pretty decent. So, yeah, this is, uh, after what I went through at the end of Chapter 2, this is a nice change of pace to have games that actually benefit from motion controls. <laughs> and enjoy this break while it lasts, because, oh boy! Go for golf is gonna be back with revenge later in this very chapter. Mark my words. Okay, let's see if we can get that hundred again. Come on, come on. Ah, uh, oh, dang it! Just barely missed it. <laughs> and we got ten. We still got points for that. No, I still got C, but no, it's not good enough. I need to do that again. Regardless, since we passed, it's still going to kick us out of the minigame anyway. Ah, whatever, I'll just do that off screen. No big deal. You're cooler than Otis. I was flying, did you see me? The whole barnyard saw you, Peck. The sky's the limit for this rooster. Be seeing ya. Wait a second, if it's not, if chick, if a, uh, you know, Peck is not a, if it's not a chicken, he's a rooster, why isn't it called Rooster Launch? Did you ever consider that? Or maybe like a rooster is a type of chicken? I don't know. There's just random things about barnyard animals I don't know. I apologize. And things that the... Well, I mean like the... the you know, the... Uh, people who made the film, like they knew that a, a... That Peck is a rooster. So maybe they knew the difference between a rooster and a chicken. I don't know. But they couldn't tell the difference between a cow and a bull. You know, how there's no such thing as a male cow. You know, something like that. I don't know. It's just kind of weird. Okay, what am I doing? I'm not... Why are we going back to the barnyard? We actually need to come here to the vegetable patch to see Miles. Because Miles has uh, pretty much the most obvious thing imaginable for us over here. But we'll, do, we'll be doing that next time here on Let's Play Barnyard Wii. So see you guys next time for some more... Yep, you guessed it, Vegetable Patch Defender. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this episode of Barnyard. I'd like to give a shout out to currently my only patron, Jose Cazaraz. If you'd like to have your channel featured here or see episodes ahead of time, follow the Patreon link below for more details. If you like what you see, be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified of new episodes. Tune in tomorrow for another video.